Good day! This is the final version of my, um, well, the previous video of the strange and versatile and oscillator. And, uh, <clears throat> well, I didn't do much besides just put everything that was on the breadboard on the PC board. And there's are my two uh, 39 kilo ohm resistor. And instead of having a fixed resistor, I had a 39 ohm resistor in series with a 1K uh, potentiometer. And then these two here are for the capacitor. And this is my positive on the inside and negative on the outside for both. So it makes a little nice and handy dandy uh, experiment board so I can experiment and here I have it uh, set up these are um, LEDs that I got in one of those Philip light bulb and um, they're about like a watt and seriously don't buy these they absolutely give no light but anyway I use the LED here to protect my transistor which is uh, 40 volt maximum and these LED they're all in series so it gives about 20 volts and here I have an old flash uh, capacitor that uh, was in, in previously in the in a flash camera and I just dismantled it and I keep the transformer because the circuit was dead so all I'm gonna do here is hook up my little uh, magic oscillator in the in the board right here is a uh, 33 microfarad capacitor and uh, in parallel, I add my big uh, 11,000 microfarad just for smoothing up because my power supply has a little tiny one at the output. And sometimes it peaks a little higher and it makes the uh, power supply go crazy. And at the end of these two wires, I have my 60 LED that you can buy at the IC station. And keep in mind, this is a 220 volt LED light bulb and uh, it lights up quite nicely right now my power supply is set up at 2 volts and 600 milliamps so I'm gonna go, go ahead and turn it on you see right now about 217 let's round it up to 220 uh, 220 uh, micro mil, milliamps sorry and that's the power which is 436 milliwatts of power at 2 volts and this is the light it gives me it is actually quite nice let me turn on my main desk light and uh, I have in the back a 100 watt CFL but it's it's roughly it's almost the maximum this light will give me at 120 volt which is actually quite nice and for the amount of power it actually consume it's actually pretty good and uh, the reason why I add the potentiometer there is so I can adjust for uh, different voltages, different frequency, and then it actually uh, actually makes it a little bit more uh, easy to play. So I can get some more uh, on ease value, like reading. And of course, I won't be able to. Oh, there we go. That's all the way down, and of course, if we take a look at the amp rating, we're down to 60 milli, 63 milliamp, which is uh, quite, quite nice and low. So you can have this hooked up in a little box with the potentiometer for uh, for being your your dimming option. And then you can have that somewhere else, and then you can adjust the light output very very easily. And then uh, hooked up the, in there again. And then there we go. The milliamp just increase. I don't know if we can hear it, but uh, you can actually hear the little buzzing of the transformer. Now, of course, these LEDs are not lit up. Uh, but watch what happen if I actually remove the load now they turn on so if you're building one of these circuit you don't really need LED 
but you do need some kind of protection for your transistor if you're uh, planning on disconnecting the load while this is working. And then what other, one other good thing that I actually found out about this circuit, so let me turn that little potentiometer all the way down, is you can add one of these in parallel with the capacitor and if you shine a light on it will actually uh, dim it and uh, if it's bright enough it will actually extinguish it so let me just get my flashlight here and there we go and for the milliamp draw, well, it's going to be basically the uh, one kilo ohm in series with whatever the um, uh, photoresistor is. So right now I'm drawing about one milliamp, which is not too bad. And as soon as you remove the light, it turns back on. So you can actually have this little circuit turn on and off. Uh, with light if you want it So that's actually a make it even more uh, versatile Then of course well, I've drive uh, driven a couple of different load from little transformer to a little bigger one which Basically they just have a lower frequency and you have and uh, if you can match it very good You'll have it uh, working nicely, but there's a uh, one thing that you need to be be aware of is this won't create a nice square wave output um, at the end of the two terminal. I had my scope plugged in and you'll see about half the voltage of whatever it's supposed to give and then you'll see a very very high voltage spike uh, on the returning which is actually this little circuit switching off. So you got to be careful with uh, whatever you're intending to power with it. Make sure it's not spike sensitive. But uh, beside that, it works very, very well. And uh, be careful not to overload the little transistor because I've already <laughs> went. That's actually my second one. Uh, I burned it. I had it mount in a uh, little heat sink. And then I tried this one here, which is a uh, one amp transistor. But the gain of it, is not high enough so I had to crank the potentiometer way higher to get the same light output so you can make these uh, you can play with these to get different result and I actually found an interesting page on the on the internet that says that it's a very popular it used to be a popular way of doing multiple thing you can flash light you can make a uh, offline power sub switching power supply with this. The proof is right here. I'm actually lighting up some LED out of a lower voltage, but you can actually, uh, by making your 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 parts value and everything all matching the voltage you want to increase, you could probably easily do let's say 120 volt to a 12 volt DC or a 5 volt DC to um, to power some small, um, some low power appliances. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure the efficiency of that circuit and I'm not gonna get into big formula. I'm happy that it works for me and then I can experiment doing different stuff. And then uh, that's all I have to say about this. I love it and I'm gonna keep experimenting. The other things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild it on a breadboard and I'm gonna see if I can get it uh, kept the amp draw very 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 low because I had the question if I can adjust that uh, like a jewel ringer having it uh, run for longer longer time so I'm gonna try experimenting with that and uh, I'll see how uh, how low I can bring it and then uh, I'll make it another video of it alright thanks for watching